dungeon crawlers have become one of the most popular subgenres in the world of RPGs. It's the perfect place to team up with one to three friends to grind and fight various monsters. Let's just get to the video. Top 10 Co-op Dungeon Crawlers. Gauntlet Dark Legacy, a modern rendition of the classic Gauntlet game presents an engaging cooperative multiplayer experience for up to four players. Originally rooted in the top-down maze concept, this version has transitioned to a 3D environment while retaining the core hack and slash gameplay. The game offers eight playable character classes, each with unique abilities, and takes players through 60 levels spread across various realms. Gauntlet Dark Legacy has seen multiple ports, with the Xbox version standing out as the most refined iteration. This port combines elements from the PS2 and GameCube versions, boasting improved graphics, sound, and gameplay mechanics. The game's combat system has advanced significantly since its inception, featuring diverse attack moves, defensive tactics, and magical abilities to master. Despite a linear progression and a somewhat repetitive solo experience, the multiplayer mode shines as the true highlight, turning the game into an entertaining party favorite. With its updated visuals, refined mechanics, and collaborative gameplay, Gauntlet Dark Legacy emerges as a standout rendition of this enduring franchise. Diablo 4 is a visually stunning sequel with exceptional end game and progression design that keeps players engrossed. While its story somewhat falls short and some bugs hinder the experience, the impressive combat, rewarding loot system, and captivating visuals make up for these shortcomings. While not a revolutionary overhaul, Diablo 4's careful refinement cements it as one of the most polished ARPGs to date offering a satisfying, engaging, demon-slaying experience. A lot of people are saying that this is the best Diablo yet, and I don't have a ton of experience with the series, but I'm sure that's a fair assessment. The enduring Gauntlet franchise, initiated by Ed Long and distributed by Atari and later Midway, found its origin in the obscure predecessor Dandy. An early Atari program exchange creation by John Palovic set the stage for dungeon crawlers with its Atari 8-bit release. Dark Chambers, a reimagined version of Dandy, surfaced in the Atari 7800 and 2600 consoles, delivering engaging gameplay despite graphical disparities. Players traverse labyrinth stages, combating diverse adversaries, while seeking treasure, health, and exits. Power-ups like enhanced shots, shields, and smart bombs aid the quest. Dark Chambers diverges from Gauntlet in its absence of character classes and limitation of two players. The game's difficulty intensifies with locked doors, intricate maps, and an enemy hierarchy that evolves as foes are vanquished. Despite lacking an ending, Dark Chambers' single life challenge beckons fans of challenging games. Dungeon Explorer for the TurboGrafx-16 stands out with its unique character class system, offering a variety of playstyles from fighter to thief, each armed with ranged attacks and magic spells, making for engaging and well-balanced gameplay. The interconnected overworld and diverse dungeons, while not overly complex, provide satisfying exploration and challenging boss battles. Despite not being an epic RPG, the game's concise nature allows for an enjoyable experience that doesn't demand and excessive time investment. With its cooperative multiplayer mode, Dungeon Explorer brings a positive spin to the RPG genre, offering a fun and accessible adventure. X-Men Legends 2 Rise of Apocalypse improves upon its predecessor's gameplay formula, delivering an engaging action RPG experience with a focus on mutant-powered dungeon crawling. Following the footsteps of Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance, this sequel offers an abundance of playable characters, both from the X-Men and Brotherhood of Evil. The game's core mechanics involve slashing and hacking your way through various environments, accompanied by a variety of power-ups and upgrades that enhance your character's ability. The combat is satisfying and enjoyable, allowing you to unleash a range of moves and attacks unique to each character. The game maintains a comic book inspired art style, with character animations capturing their distinctive traits. Voice acting is well done, featuring notable talents that bring the diverse cast to life. Overall, X-Men Legends 2 Rise of Apocalypse delivers a solid and enjoyable gameplay experience that caters to both action and RPG fans, providing an extensive roster of mutants to explore and master. 
Of course, there's also the Marvel Ultimate Alliance games, which is pretty much a continuation of X-Men Legends. But I found that between all of those games and the X-Men Legends games, X-Men Legends 2 is the best of the bunch. Children of Morta is more than just a dungeon crawler. It's a game created around family dynamics. While the gameplay involves venturing through dungeons, battling foes, and leveling up characters, the heart of the game lies in its portrayal of the Berkson family's struggle against the corruption. The game skillfully weaves cutscenes and interactions between family members, allowing players to connect with their stories and personalities. With a diverse cast of playable characters, each possessing unique abilities and playstyles, the combat is engaging and rewarding. The pixel art style and animations contribute to the game's charm. Personally, I think this is some of the best pixel art art I've ever seen. And while the grind can become repetitive, the satisfaction of overcoming challenging bosses and the emotional investment in the Berkson family make Children of Morta a standout experience. Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2 delivers familiar and enjoyable hack and slash gameplay, featuring relentless monster battles and isometric dungeon exploration across 80 levels. The addition of a workshop feature allows players to customize weapons and armor with gems and runestones, enhancing the depth of gear customization. Although the game maintains its core action, the lack of significant innovation in terms of branching storylines and notable online component leaves room for improvement. The sequel's visuals and audio remain consistent with the original, creating a familiar atmosphere. While not breaking new ground, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2 offers solid action and customization for fans of the series. Enter the Gungeon combines precise action shooter gameplay with roguelike elements, resulting in an engaging experience filled with bullet-filled action and replayability. The game's unique blend of bullet-themed humor and shooter mechanics sets a charming tone, while its variety of guns and gadgets offer creative ways to tackle enemies. Memorable boss battles and diverse enemy types keep the action challenging and dynamic. The implementation of roguelike elements, including random level layouts and drops, complements the shooter gameplay. Quality of life features such as currency, magnetism, and teleporter nodes ensure a smooth and enjoyable experience. Enter the Gungeon impressively maintains its novelty over extended playtime, making it a fun and engaging choice for players seeking an action-packed roguelike adventure. Darksiders Genesis takes the series in an exciting new direction, with its isometric view and engaging combat. The game retains the Darksiders essence with action-adventure gameplay, impactful combat, dungeon exploration, and a compelling co-op mode. While lacking the polish of its mainline counterparts, the game shines with its character dynamics, satisfying combat mechanics, and well-designed progression system. The isometric angle doesn't hinder the fast-paced combat although occasional environment obstructions can be frustrating. The story explores the dynamic between war and strife, and the voice acting adds depth to their characters. With clever puzzles, rich exploration, and excellent progression, Darksiders Genesis showcases significant potential for the spin-off series. Arcus Odyssey, released in 1991, is an action game with light RPG elements that draws comparisons to the arcade classic Gauntlet. This came out exclusively on the Sega Genesis. Set in a world threatened by a sorceress named Castamira, players take on the roles of four distinct characters, Jetta, Eren, Diane, and Bede, to retrieve the Sword of Lidi and prevent Castamira's return. The game features varied character abilities, spells, and upgrades, enhancing the cooperative multiplayer experience. Despite some localization issues and level design challenges, Arcus Odyssey offers an enjoyable action-packed journey with unique characters and engaging gameplay. This is definitely a lesser known game on the Sega Genesis, so give it a try if you haven't played it yet. What's your favorite local co-op dungeon crawler? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more co-op content and watch this video about local co-op Doom clones. Thank you for watching.